Hey there, you like coming at you again from OSA Commentary here today with another close up on a member of the cleanup crew that you might add to your saltwater aquarium. Today I have beside me here these little bumblebee snails and these are an excellent member of the cleanup crew for a lot of your saltwater and reef aquariums. Although they are quite a small animal, they do serve a really good role in a lot of your aquariums in both the management of pests and the management of uneaten food. So unlike a lot of the snails that you might add to your aquarium, these bumblebee snails are not actually herbivores. Perhaps a small amount of their diet is consistent of eating some sort of algae, but for the most part, these are actually a carnivorous or a meat-eating species of snail. So that kind of plays into role when you are stocking your aquarium, especially once your aquarium becomes very well stocked and very well established in helping to clean up any detritus, any dead animals off the bottom of the aquarium and any uneaten food. So adding these animals to your aquarium kind of helps to mitigate the issues of pollution when you do know that you feed kind of heavy or if you have a very well established tank that some of your smaller invertebrates, other animals might be just naturally passing away in the aquarium, these guys are going to be excellent in taking care of those dead carcasses and that uneaten food at the bottom of the aquarium. And one of the major reasons that people might seek out bumblebee snails to add to their aquarium is that they are well known to eat vermited snails as well. So a lot of us in the reef aquarium hobby or just saltwater aquarium keeping in general, have run into vermited snails at some point in history. These are those lovely little snails that will end up stuck to your rock work. They're actually a sessile invertebrate, so they don't move very much, but they resemble little tube worms and the mucus that they produce will irritate your corals. A lot of us have seen those in our aquariums, whether they're the very small ones or very large, nasty ones. But these bumblebee snails are very well known to take care of those in the aquarium. So adding these, if you do have a vermited issue, is definitely worthwhile. And especially if you've only got a small handful of vermited snails, it would be worth adding another handful of these bumblebees just to kind of keep up on that so they don't spread throughout your aquarium. They are one of the only animals that I know that is really supposed to take care of those vermited snails. So for that reason alone, they are very worthwhile to adding to your aquarium. But that added benefit of them being just overall scavengers and eating uneaten food and the like off of the bottom of the aquarium is a very useful addition that makes adding these animals worthwhile. Generally, they don't get quite large. What you see behind me here at about half inch or three quarter inch in length is about full grown for these guys. So I would scale accordingly, depending on whether you have a large aquarium or a small aquarium, you would definitely want a good handful of these guys to make any sort of a difference, but they are definitely something that is worthwhile for the cleanup crew in just about any saltwater aquarium if you have the space for them. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section below and keep on reefing.